The Pentagon is assessing plans to reduce U.S. troop numbers in Africa. This would mean an end for a number of special operation missions. The proposal is part of a U.S. strategy to focus more efforts on potential threats from countries like China and Russia. CGTN's Nick Harper reports from New York. The plans were submitted by top U.S. military commander General Thomas D. Waldhauser. The Pentagon is looking at scaling back troop numbers and missions in Central and West Africa. There, U.S. special operations have focused on training local African troops to better enable them to combat threats from extremist militant groups like ISIS, Boko Haram and Al-Shabaab. Currently, around 6,000 U.S. soldiers are stationed throughout Africa. The nearly 1,200 special operations troops are likely to be the first in line for this potential drawdown. The new proposal follows the recent deaths of five American soldiers on the continent. Four were killed in an ambush in Niger last year. Another was killed in Somalia in June. In an interview with the New York Times, General Waldhauser said the plan would help the U.S. to better engage threats around the world. But he stressed the United States was not walking away from Africa. He added, if there is a need to protect American interests, the U.S. reserves the right to unilaterally return. According to several news reports, the latest strategy appears to be part of a US plan to re-evaluate how to best use its military forces around the globe. In January, US Defense Secretary Jim Mattis unveiled a national defense strategy which focuses on more possible threats from China and Russia. The blueprint that counters those two nations is now taking priority over the fight against terrorism. Nick Harper, CGTN, New York.